Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own block hit packs. This tutorial is going to be cut only minimally in order to make it easier for everyone to follow along so it's not too fast. Quick note before you start though, please watch until the end because you'll know everything about it and you won't have to ask questions in the comments that I have to answer that are already in the video. But let's get back to the tutorial now. Okay, so first of all you're going to need to install Notepad++. It's a free text editor, and mainly we need it today so that we can have multiple tabs of files. After you have that installed, go and download the sample pack that I've linked in the description. I have it right here, so I'll download it right now. I'll just save it to whatever folder you want to edit the pack in. This won't be your resource packs folder, we'll copy that over later. If there's any pop-ups or anything, make sure to close them, and it's also really good to have an ad blocker just in case. This pack has the default values for swords and their settings, so we're just going to use that to make a simple pack today. There's going to be another link in the description of this video at some point, it won't be directly out once this video is posted. It'll probably be out by tomorrow, hopefully, but probably not. But yeah, I have a link to my second channel and I'll show what all of the numbers in the model settings do and like like a comparison of what they'll change. Alright, after you've downloaded the pack, you're going to select it and then you're going to right click it, click extract all, and then you can just say extract on this window. Now you'll have a folder, that's basically the pack but unzipped. If you open it, there's going to be an assets folder, a pack.png, and a pack.mc meta. These are all the components of a pack but just deconstructed. In the assets folder is all the pack's inner content, so that would be like images or in this case model settings. The pack.png is a small image, it's the little thumbnail that you see when you're in the resource packs folder of your Minecraft. And the MC meta file is just a configuration file that tells Minecraft things like the description of the pack and the Minecraft version that it was made for. Firstly, I'm going to open the MC meta file, make sure it opens in Notepad++. Here you can edit the description of the pack inside the quotes, so for now we're just going to name the person who made this John. This pack format is the version that the pack was made for, so essentially we're just going to have it leave it at 1, that way it works with 1.8.9. Next I'm going to open the assets folder, and then we're going to keep clicking all the way down until we get to this item folder, and now we have 5 model settings files. You're going to want to open all of these in notepad, that way you have all of them in separate tabs so that we can copy paste everything later. So this setup might look a little bit unfriendly for people who aren't too familiar with coding, but these values are basically arranged in a way that Minecraft can read. Basically, you're going to be changing the numbers to make different sword pack. So this next part is a little bit boring, but I'm going to explain what all of these do. So this part is basically what tells Minecraft what texture to use in the items folder. Since there isn't an items folder in this pack, and there's just the model settings, it's going to go use whatever, whatever image the pack that's under this has, and if there's none, then it'll use the default. You don't need to worry about that part because if you change it, it might break something. For now, you just need to look at the display tab, which under that it has third person and first person. First person is usually what people want to change, the third person is only if you want to, say, make the sword stupidly big. So like this, you can change the numbers, and now when I go into third person while using this pack, it'll be really big. For example, let's say John wants his sword to be really thick, so we can probably set this to 30. Normally this would be stupidly extreme and you wouldn't do this in a normal pack, but since this is just a tutorial, then it's fine. But now that you've made all your changes, you're going to want to put them on all of the different models. So you can do this manually and you can go in and change all of the values to something that you already know about. and want to just do that but it's really boring and stupidly difficult so it's just an easier way with copy and paste. First you're going to select this amount and leave it just under where it says layer 0 item slash diamond sword if you're on the diamond sword tab and use control C to copy. You're going to go to the next tab, you're going to select that same block of text and then you're going to paste. That way it has the same settings but also the different model. Then you're going to want to go and do this for all of these. Alright, so once you're done with that, you're going to want to go through and save. I've already saved, but control S to save, or you can press this. But now you can close out Notepad++, you've already saved your changes, so it's fine. Then you're going to go back into the root folder where these are. You're going to select everything, right click, hover over send to, 
and then click on compressed zip folder. So now you should have this file, which is basically your pack. What you want to do is you want to rename this to whatever you want the pack to be in game. For now, I'm going to use it how I normally do it, which is block hit fix, square bracket, the pack name, so John's, and then whatever the block hit pack name, so John's chest. Let's do that. Now, you click enter and it'll save the changes. Now you have this pack. So you can select this, and what I do is I have my resource packs folder open on the side, and then I drag it into here, it says copy to resource packs, so you want to do that, and then click, and then now it's in your resource packs folder. Finally, you can open Minecraft, go into your resource packs folder, go find it, so here it is, so we'll apply it, give it a second, click to load, John's test made by John, hopefully Lunar Planet doesn't crash, there we go. And now we have this pack. Remember how we set the sword to be really big? Well, there's that in action. First person, you can see the sword is super thick on the side, which looks pretty interesting. But for now, hopefully this tutorial helped you. Um, if you watched all the way to the end, then I should probably say thank you for all the watch time you just gave me. It really helps the channel out, and if you could consider subscribing, that'd be great too. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.